Hey folks, just a quick tip here that um, I wanted to express to you. A good shortcut of a way for making things easy for yourself and also saving on materials, and that is drawers and drawer runners. Yeah, you can buy um, you know, prefabricated metal, full extension, locking, sliding, bearing guided, and, and whatnot drawer runners, but I like to keep it simple, I like to use up bits of scrap. Um, because it costs nothing and it works just as well. So I've just built my pillar drill stand and this is kind of inspired by April W. Sorry April, I'm not even going to try and pronounce your surname because I can't remember it off the top of my head and I'll just completely screw it up. So um, I built this drawer and it's only it's only about two and a half inches high because it's for drill bits but it doesn't matter if it's a massive one well, I built this last year and this is a good six inches deep and I did it in exactly the same way um, and all I've done okay so just just in here what I've done is I've just because I've used um, kind of table construction with, with proper legs and then clad it um, I've glued and screwed this piece of 2 by one pine hardwood's better I have to say um, but I've used softwood because that's what I had, um, and I've just screwed it to the, the, the four legs so it runs flat and parallel back to forwards, and the drawer just sits on top of this. Now, I found that when I pulled the drawer out, there's this big cavity under here, um, the drawer just wanted to, to drop and then fall straight out. So I didn't have any more of this, so what I've actually done is, and you could use this technique for these as well, um, just ripped down some pieces of the same Elliot ply I used to um, to make the drawers. It's half inch, and then on the edge, I've laminated some three mil ply on on end. If that's the, the plywood runner, um, then I've just taken a piece of three mil ply, glued it on the end like that, um, with grain running that way. Glued it on, pinned it. And then once the, um, the glue had gone off, just with a flush trim bit on the route table, just trimmed it off so it's the same, um, same thickness. And that stops the drawer from wanting to, to drop down. The other thing I've done is with a wax candle, and I keep one in this little drawer here. Um, just an old candle, and I just rub the candle all over the, the runners and on the underside of the drawer to just give it a bit of lubrication so it runs more freely. So now put the drawer in. And because of those top guides it doesn't drop out. It runs nice and freely to do that. Now if you're making your um, cabinet carcass, your base carcass from plywood or MDF or whatever and doing that kind of kitchen cabinet construction, you can still use a similar method um, but what I tend to do is have just a dust skirt. Now, I know April you did like a full shelf and that's that's great if you want to be able to take the drawer out and bin it at a late date and just have a, a ca cavity or maybe even um, a door or something, you can use that because you've got a shelf but if you're going to keep drawers in it or you're making a chest of drawers then that's a lot of sheet material that's completely wasted and redundant. Um, so in that situation what I like to do is, in the same way I've made this, this panel door, um, but obviously on the, on the flat, just with strips, this is glued on the edges and then pocket hold um, inside, make a frame, and then have this completely open. Um, then panel it or anything because the, the drawer will actually slide along those and you'll find if you're doing a big chest of drawers that's you know a lot of material saved in all this um, this space and you can wax and you know lubricate it in exactly the same way so save you a lot of material potentially get rid of some scraps and um, certainly save you money on having to buy expensive Drawer runners. And if you want it to lock when it comes all the way, so it doesn't come all the way out, all you need to do is get a block of timber on the back of the drawer, glue it and screw it, so that it it creates a lock and it will hit against 
the top. If you're using this method, then you can glue a block underneath, inside the drawer, and when it slides out like this, it'll stop when it hits the front of the pan. Downside of that is it's difficult then to get the drawers out later on. That's why I never bother. I just kind of either let it fall on the floor or don't pull it out all the way. I hope that helps. I hope it saves you some money. And um, chances are most of you have already thought of that. So uh, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment and um, share this tip with all your friends and make them aware of the channel. We'll see you again soon.